Hi, I'm Bob Dickman, an executive coach and creator of Leadership Lessons from Classic Films. In this episode, I'll be talking about relationship building using the 1954 movie The Cane Mutiny, based on the best-selling book and the real-life Navy experience of the author Herman Walk. All complex organizations are interdependent. Every member of a crew or team is in a unique position to see something essential to success that may not be perceived by the leader. So what happens when leaders and followers stop trusting each other? Often lower ranking members of a team are closer to the action than their superiors. This allows them to identify defects or mistakes that others can't see. If trust is established between all levels of a team, these ground level observations are shared. And as a result, money, materials, and even lives will be saved. If, on the other hand, team members feel intimidated by their leaders, they most likely will remain silent. This withholding of crucial information is captured precisely in the film Came Mutiny. In the film, Humphrey Bogart stars as Francis Quigg, a rigid, by-the-book commander of an old, poorly maintained destroyer. The crew is unkempt and slow to respond to orders. Quigg's solution is to impose strict discipline on his crew. He makes it clear that as captain of the ship, he will win every argument, and those who dare to defy him will be punished. And now, Mr. Keith, first of all, do you or don't you have an explanation for this? Well, sir, I was on the fence. I didn't ask for an alibi. Evidently, my orders mean very little to you. Sir, I'm completely at fault. What Quigg fails to understand is that he needs his men as much as they need him. They need his leadership, but he needs their experience and knowledge. In this scene, his destroyer is given the thankless job of towing a target while other ships fire on it. Quigg dresses down his officers for allowing a sailor to avoid the strict dress code, not realizing that the ship's course correction will cause it to cross over the tow lines, setting the target dangerously adrift, and subsequently, Quigg refuses to take responsibility for his error. Captain, we've steamed over our own tow line. Who said we steamed over the tow line? Who said that? We've cut the target adrift. We did nothing of the kind. Something must have been wrong with the cable. We can hardly be held responsible if we're given faulty cables that break the minute the ship turns a few degrees. This action makes him a hypocrite to his crew and compromises his role as their leader. The takeaway here is best summed up by Edgar Schein, professor emeritus at MIT. The job of a successful leader is to build relationships that are based on mutual respect and the recognition that others know things that we may need to know in order to get the job done. It may seem obvious, but your job as a leader is to instill confidence and cooperation in your team to make everyone on the team feel safe enough to share essential information needed to accomplish your goal. Thank you for watching, and please sign up for my YouTube channel.